Today, we're diving into the world of actress Diana Lynn. Perhaps you remember her from a classic film or TV show. Can you recall the first time you watched her on screen? Which of her works resonates with you the most? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience connected to this classic star? Share it with us and stay tuned because we've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. Keep watching this video for more. In the realm of classic Hollywood, a distinguished actress made waves that ripple far beyond the silver screen. She showcased a remarkable range of talent, embodying characters with depth and authenticity that held audiences spellbound. Not confined to her performances alone, she wielded influence behind the scenes, advocating for more nuanced roles for women and shaping the creative direction of projects. Her impact reverberates through the film industry, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers to push boundaries and explore new horizons. Her dedication to her craft and her commitment to challenging norms have left an unmistakable imprint on the world of cinema. In a classic film, The Major and The Minor, a talented actress portrayed a character named Lucy Hill. She also took part in Paramount's Henry Aldrich series alongside another actor, Charles Smith. In the series, she played Aldrich's high school girlfriend, while Smith portrayed his best friend, known as Dizzy. It's interesting to note that she played a science-obsessed sister named Lucy in the same movie. Later, she reprised a similar role in a remake titled You're Never Too Young, where she played a character named Nancy Collins, reminiscent of the one originally portrayed by Ray Millane. This actress had a deep connection to the entertainment industry, being the niece of composer Robert Armbruster. Her performances captivated audiences, showcasing her remarkable talent and versatility as an actress. In the whirlwind of the film industry, one actress found herself caught up in the demanding standards of a renowned director. Amidst the chaos of production, tensions ran high, leading to emotional moments on set. As the director struggled to juggle multiple responsibilities, it became clear that the project would face challenges in staying on track. Beyond the screen, this actress's personal life was a tapestry of family connections and relationships. Welcoming a blended family into her life, she navigated the complexities of marriage and parenthood. Despite a move and a shift towards a quieter life, she was offered a chance to return to the spotlight, only to have her aspirations cut short by tragedy. Her journey through the highs and lows of filmmaking, coupled with the bonds of family, portrays a life rich in experiences and challenges. In the world of entertainment, financial challenges often accompany success. For one actress, these struggles were all too familiar. Despite her talent and achievements, managing money and showbiz proved tough. Her career spanned film and TV, but personal finances remained a constant worry. The unpredictable nature of acting roles, alongside industry uncertainties, led to fluctuating income. This instability made it hard to find solid financial ground. Alongside financial woes, the pressures of showbiz took a toll. The need to stay relevant and compete wore her down. Balancing work and personal life only added to the strain. Yet, she persevered. Continuing to pursue her passion, she showcased her talent in various projects. Her ability to navigate financial hardships and endure the demands of the industry highlighted her strength and dedication. Her story reflects the reality many artists face ups and downs in finances and fame. It's a reminder of the resilience needed to navigate such challenges. In a classic film from 1942, a young actress took on the role of a 12-year-old character despite being 16 at the time. Later, she appeared in another film known for its challenging technical aspects. The scenes involved extensive dialogue, while the characters walked through town streets, requiring intricate camera work and coordination. Interestingly, this actress had connections beyond the silver screen, as she was connected to influential figures like Gore Vidal in her personal life. These various aspects of her career and relationships highlight her versatility and connections in the entertainment industry. In the late 1960s, she ran Go, a travel agency located at a Bonwood Teller store in New York City. She played Jane Stacy in My Friend Irma. Originally, Jack Carson was supposed to appear as Al, but couldn't, so Marie Wilson took on the role of Irma. Hans Conrad and Gloria Gordon also reprised their radio show roles. This film introduced nightclub comedy duo Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Lewis improvised the role of Seymour to avoid being replaced. Variety praised the duo's introduction, and the New York Times lauded Lewis as the film's highlight. Martin and Lewis earned 10% of the film's budget. A lawsuit over story rights arose, but its resolution remains unknown. In 1950, a sequel titled My Friend Irma Goes West was released, featuring Marie Wilson, Diana Lynn, Dean Martin, and Jerry Lewis. 
According to Laura Wagner, Diana played piano for films and albums, but stopped after breaking her arm one summer, letting her talent fade away. In the annals of cinema history, there lies a remarkable tale of friendship and camaraderie. Set against the backdrop of a beloved film, two actresses brought to life the story of Emily Kimbra and Cornelia Otis Skinner, characters that would outlive their on-screen personas by decades. One of these talented performers found her final resting place at the Episcopal Church of the Heavenly Rest in New York City. She shared the screen with her close friend in the movie, where she portrayed the role of writer Emily Kimbra, while her companion took on the character of Cornelia Otis Skinner. Their portrayals captured hearts, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Notably, both Kimbra and Skinner lived longer lives than depicted in the film. This actress earned acclaim not only for her film work, but also for her performances on Broadway, where she succeeded another esteemed actress in the titular role of Mary Mary. Her talent shone through in various productions, ranging from new plays to comedies and revivals. Critics and fans alike celebrated her skillful performances, ensuring her place in the annals of theatrical history. Her journey as a performer continues to inspire, reminding us of the timeless charm and enduring appeal of her work. She left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, cherished by those who have been touched by her performances. Her story is a testament to the power of art to captivate and endure through the ages. In the early days of her career in Hollywood, her exceptional skill as a pianist stood out brightly. She played important pieces like George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. She was born into a wealthy family, with her father working in an oil company and her mother being a talented pianist and teacher. Her musical journey began under her mother's guidance. At just 12 years old, she impressed everyone by performing with the Los Angeles Junior Symphony Orchestra. She mostly retired in 1970 and started working as a director at a travel agency in Manhattan. Sadly, she passed away at the age of 45, only nine days after having a stroke. She left behind a significant mark as both a pianist and an actress influencing many. In The Miracle of Morgan's Creek, she played the role of Emmy Cockenlocker. Diana Lynn impressively showcased her piano skills during her scenes. In the major and the minor, she portrayed Lucy Hill. She reprised her role in a radio adaptation aired on the Screen Guild Theater. The film was later remade in 1955, with Jerry Lewis playing a male version of Ginger Rogers' character, and she portrayed a female equivalent of Ray Millane's character. She truly demonstrated her versatility across various roles throughout her career. In the world of entertainment, one individual's journey stands out for its triumphs and tragic farewell. Their career left a lasting impression on the film industry, showcasing versatility and skill in various roles. Despite a life cut short, their impact continues to resonate through timeless performances on the silver screen. Their sudden departure in 1971, at just 45 years old, shocked admirers and left a void in the hearts of many. Yet, their memory lives on through the characters they brought to life, reminding audiences of the unpredictable nature of life itself. As we revisit the movies featuring this captivating presence, we're transported back to an era illuminated by their talent. Their legacy endures, etched in the frames of celluloid that capture the essence of their artistry. In the realm of film, a talented actress faced a heart-wrenching ordeal that went unseen by many. Despite her shining career, a sorrowful chapter unfolded behind the scenes, altering her life forever. Behind the glamour of the silver screen, she grappled with the loss of her beloved husband in a tragic twist of fate. This unexpected blow added depth to her journey, showing that even the brightest stars encountered darkness in their personal lives. The profound sadness that touched her serves as a reminder that fame and success do not shield one from life's harsh realities. It's a poignant testament to the resilience found within every individual, regardless of their public image or achievements. In the end, her story reveals a depth beyond her on-screen persona, showcasing the strength that lies within. In a surprising turn of events, the entertainment world lost a shining talent at the early age of 45. The artist, known for captivating audiences with natural charm, faced personal challenges, including struggles with alcoholism that unfortunately led to complications from a stroke. Starting her acting journey at a young age, she quickly rose to fame with standout performances in films such as The Major and The Minor and The Miracle of Morgan's Creek, showcasing versatility and depth. Despite success on the big screen, personal battles marked her life. The untimely passing left a void, yet her contributions to the industry continue to be celebrated globally. Fans fondly remember the impactful performances, making her work everlasting. The artist's life story serves as a reminder of the complexities faced by those in the limelight. 
crafting a narrative that resonates with simplicity, we reflect on the artist's journey, acknowledging the highs and lows that defined her career. In memory of this bright star, we honor the artistry that remains etched in the minds of those who enjoyed her work.